good morning. I'm always down here in the top corner. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for coming back to my channel again today. And I kind of got things mixed up. I did the tea tree one first before I posted this pine tar. But um, we're going to cut both of them and, and take them out of the molds here today. They've been sitting for about four, 24 hours now. So um, I'm kind of excited to uh, open them up and see what they look like. So let's get at it. First thing we're going to do is take out the little ripple mold here. And I think they are just perfect. Yes, they are. Look at that. I love these ones. It looks like we had a little bit of a gel face here. It's still got that circle here in the middle. But beautiful, beautiful soap. Yep, I'm happy with that. So there's one. I tried finding these molds again online. And I found some that are similar, but not exactly the same. But it's beautiful. Oh yeah, and you can really smell that tea tree essential oil in there. I love this ripple design, you guys. It's one of my favorite. I mean, it's not a very big bar of soap, but it's perfect for your hand. And it'll be pretty sitting in your bathroom by the sink. Okay, these ones are the butterfly ones. Let's see how these ones turned out. Oh, and they're just popping out of here like perfect. Oh, look. That's a nice big bar of soap. It's beautiful. So we've got three of these. There's one. Here's the next one. Oh, and they turned out perfect. There's two. I love these ones too. Here's the last one. That popped out like nothing. Aren't these cute? I found these molds at the thrift shop. And I think I paid like a dollar for the four of them. So that was a lucky find. It makes a beautiful bar soap. Cute, guys. So there's three of those. And then we made one with our leaf mold here. Give that a pop out of there, and that came out perfect. Look at this. It says one leaf here, and it says flower essential oil on the bottom, is what it says. But they're so pretty. And again, it's a nice size. I think when you weigh these out, they're like four and a half ounces, something like that. So really, really happy with that. Okay, we're just gonna put that aside here. Now for the big guy. And we made no fancy top on these or anything. Just poured it and left it just like that. So there's the top. And we'll set this aside over here. And I like this mold. It comes off so easy. Look at this.
And it's a beautiful white, you guys. Really, really happy. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. And it's one big loaf of soap. Okay, so we're gonna get move that out of the way. <clears throat> going to get to cutting this guy and I don't think we need to get rid of that end piece because it's nice and smooth I love the end pieces when they turn out like this beautifully smooth and we should get quite a few bars out of this one I'm hoping you all can see it. Yeah, they turned out really nice. And you can really smell the tea tree out of there. Closer for you guys here. And we'll give ourselves some room. So we're going to cut these ones and then we will go ahead and cut our tea tree soap right after this. And this is just all natural oils tea tree no extra colorants antibacterial soap so I think even if you've got like a common cold or anything like that any bacteria you've got sitting on your skin. So a while back, I did a, a video on massage bars. And I had a girl comment to me about how I wished that I would have, uh, how she wished that I would have posted. I'm gonna make two big bars out of this one. Here's a nice big piece here. I love the end piece. Look at this. It's all kind of rounded off there. That's a nice big piece. I, I'm not going to cut any of that off because to me that's perfect. This is just perfect. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got 12 bars of this beautiful tea tree soap, you guys. But yeah, getting back to the massage bars, I haven't forgotten about you. Um, I'm going to make them. But she said that she wished that I would have shown the uh, me taking them out of the molds. I, I totally forgot to do that. So I will be making some massage bars, I think with the pink Himalayan salt that has been on my to-do list. And, you know, we haven't um, really been making soap 
recently, but uh, we do have markets coming up now. So now is the time that I am soaping. So I will be ready for those markets here. Alrighty, so we get rid of that and the next ones we're gonna do now is our pine tar. So let's get those. Look at that. We've got some pine tar right up on the top of this loaf here. Okay, so let's take these out. Let's start with this one. If we can get it out. Oh, and I can smell how pungent that is. This is really good, you guys. And I don't want to force it out of there. Ooh, I'm happy with that. Beautiful. take out the next one. So one thing I like about my cold basement, well it's not really cold, it's chilly, is that my soaps don't really heat up that much. It keeps them on the cooler side. I don't want to force it out of there. Oh, yeah, it's perfect on the bottom. Nice and square. Move that aside. And I'm hoping you can see it. Okay. And again, I don't think I'm going to cut off any end pieces here because they're perfectly straight. And look at this, they're beautiful. Nice and dark brown and pungent. And I put a piece of duct tape here on my cutter so I know where to line up my soap so they're all the same size. It just goes right up to the line there. So everything is uniform. Again, if you want to make this pine tar soap, you can find your pine tar at a local feed store, farm supply. You can order it online, but if you have a feed supply where you get your bird seed, cow seed, all that kind of cow feed, I should say, stuff like that, tack shop, horse supplies. gardening supplies, etc. 
That's probably where you'll, you'll find it. But if you can't, you can find uh, pine tar online with Amazon and have it delivered to you. I'm lucky I have two or three different places locally where I am where I can get pine tar. Beautiful. So we have six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to have 18 bars of this pine tar soap here available for you all. And I just had my computer upgraded to Windows 10. And I'm so used to working on my phone that I'm trying to figure out how to add my products onto my shop on the computer. Look at that pine tar on, this on the top. I love that. Look at that. That's beautiful. How it's incorporated in there. So, please bear with me on that. But if anybody is interested, you can find me at Nature's Touch Organic and Artisan Soap on Facebook. You can message me there about any of these soaps or you can email me as well at L-O-R-I-B like Bob 240 at yahoo.ca I do uh, PayPal I ship through Canada and the United States So if you're interested, just throw me an email there for now until I figure out my shop button. I will be putting these on my Poshmark. I've seen other handmade soaps there and body products. And I'm going to put these back on my Etsy shop as well. So bear with me while I try to update my shop settings and everything. But in the meantime, please feel free to email me. I check my emails every day and my email will be in the description below. They're beautiful, you guys. Very, very happy with the results that we got there. So, there's our tea tree and our pine tar. I am going to be doing a collaboration with uh, Randall's Candles. For Mother's Day, we are working on a candle and soap um, Mother's Day package, and we are going to be making Love Spell. So that'll be coming up in the near future. And I think the next one that we're gonna do are the massage bars, and I will show you how I take those out of those molds. Smash the like button, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell. If you like our content, then please come back. We enjoy having you, and uh, we're doing a 150 subscriber giveaway with the pin cushion, and I have added some soaps to that giveaway. So the 150th subscriber is going to get um, a couple of bars of these soaps that I've done, as well as that little cute pin cushion, the Jim Bean one. So I'll put the link into the description for our giveaway as well. So please come back, share with your friends, and um, for now. Later.